time to step up to the demo cam. And as Heidi mentioned, she was so entranced with all of the um, other great demonstrations today that she was trying to remember and wrap her head around what she was doing. I was feeling the same way watching the other demonstrations, trying to do my social networking while everyone else is demonstrating. So now I need to, um, to get my center and my crafting zone and share with you my project for today. First off, this is a new segment that we call That's Too Cool. So what we've decided to do is each week on a rotating basis, um, each of the regular um, guests on Cool to Craft are stepping up and sharing something that's a project that was inspired by something else. So um, there's a lot of parts to how I came about my project today. The first is uh, for those of you who um, may have um, seen this before, this is a book that I wrote several years ago called Terrific Texture Techniques. And if you've been following my social networking over the past few weeks, I did recently um, complete an on-demand class at Craft Tech University where it's an hour and eight minutes where I share all sorts of techniques on how to use texture paste. So with that in mind, what I want to do is show you what my inspiration is today for my project. And my inspiration comes from my sister Heidi. She created uh, these um, mosaic tiles a couple weeks ago on Cool to Craft, which I just absolutely loved. Both my sisters are master mosaicers. I didn't get into that craft as much as they did. But here's the inspiration. Loved how she used the tiles. I love the heart design. This is another one that she did. And um, so with that in mind, those are my inspiration photos for my That's Too Cool project today. And so what I did is, ta-da, this is my project. So what I'm going to show you how to do is faux mosaic. Again, keeping in mind that I'm using texture paste. And I love the idea of mosaic, but this is much faster. So what I'm going to do is while you're looking at this photo, I'm going to move my camera down to the demo and get readjusted here. And let me check to see where I am. Okay, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. All right, so here is this uh, bottle. So as you can see, I, it looks like it's real mosaic, but it's faux mosaic. And the way I create this uh, is with a technique that Heidi taught me. So I'm going to be using the blue masking tape. I'm using Texture Magic from Delta. Let me see if I can get it into the camera here. I, this is available at the craft stores. I did see it at um, Michael's uh, over the weekend when I was there, and it comes in white in a couple of colors. And But I like to use white because then I can tint it. I'm also using some mosaic tile pieces that I've cut from, I got these, these are actual glass mosaic tiles, and you use this cutter in order to cut down to the little tiny little pieces that I want to use. So those are some of the basic supplies, and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was I put that blue masking tape onto my glass bottle. I cut and traced um, a little heart pattern. You know, you can just cut these easily uh, to whatever size that you need. I used uh, a craft knife in order to cut out along that line. And then what you can do is you start lifting up where you want to reveal your pattern. So this is a great way to come up. And I'm going to try and move slow because these webcams, they do not like you to move fast at all. OK, so this is going to be the shape of where I'm putting down my texture paste. So that's really, really easy. This is a great way if you don't have a stencil that you want, the size of the shape that you want. So I am going to set that aside and bring in my texture paste. I want to put this to the edge. Remember, this is white because I'm just going to tint it the color that I want. 
Yeah, you can use, there are um, snow products on the market and there are other texture pastes. I used to work for Delta, so I, um, and I wrote the book based on the product, their products, so I tend to grab for that. It doesn't take much of your acrylic paint to color your texture paste, so I'm just using a plastic palette knife to mix that together. All right, easy enough. Now I'm going to move this over to the side, bring my bottle back in. I know, cool, cool, cool color, isn't it? All right, so now I can just spread that texture paste. Now this particular product sticks right to the glass. There's nothing you have to do to prepare that glass. And then I just smooth it down a little bit. I do want it to have some dimension because I am going to be sticking those mosaic tiles in. So as you can see, it doesn't take long. You just spread that on, and then you carefully lift this back up. If you don't get a perfect image that first time, you can wipe it off and start all over if you need to. But as you can see, that's working really well. Isn't that pretty? All right, so that is how you add the texture paste. It's so, so easy. The next thing I'm going to use are my new Eco Deli. And I, again, in my social networking, I was promoting these and letting everyone know that these are little pieces that I pour when I have leftovers of my plaster, my cool to cast plaster when I'm making my pendant. And I, I found that uh, I could make these really cool embellishments. So I call them Eco Delis. They're delicious embellishments for crafting. So I'm going to use one of these today and press it right in to my texture paste. Then the next thing I want to do is start taking some of my little pieces of my glass and I need to turn it towards me so I can see what I'm doing here. You know what? I am passionate about my crafting. Can you hear it? You can hear it in my voice, can't you? I love doing this. So then you just put your little pieces into your texture paste around the Eco Deli and you have the coolest faux mosaic project. Sometimes you may need to use tweezers, and be careful if you're using glass, these are sharp, so you need to be careful when you're pressing them in. This is a great little gift project for a girlfriend or a hostess gift, and you could fill this bottle with um, some bath oil. How about making some really great, uh, using organic, essential oils, and um, you could add, uh, like you could make a rose-scented bath oil. So there you have it. You just keep adding those pieces. I know, isn't this neat? I love this. Now, I noticed that my little Eco Deli has shifted a little bit to the side more than what I would like. So I have a little bit of time to, um, to play with this uh, until it's set. It, this does start to set to the touch in about an hour, and you want to let it dry overnight, leave it to lay flat overnight, and um, then what you can do on the top part here is just add some really yummy yarns to finish off the top. So let me bring up my slide again. Actually, I'll leave that there so you can look at that. <laughs> let me bring up my photo slide so that I can reposition my camera and see what other questions that there are. Let me go back down to display this and um, let me reset my camera.